Charlotte, and we are back in Charlotte for the ARCA series. You'll remember this was the first race of the season last season. I think it was old Charlotte, because I think he was going to alternate between old and new Charlotte every season. I seem to remember running this, I think, but I, I assume it was old Charlotte, and I'm just remembering wrong. I don't know. But we're the number four here. We got 35 laps. Uh, there's also some severe weather in my area. It has been most of the afternoon here, and there's still some around, so I'll have to try and keep an eye on that if I can. Uh, if I just randomly start dragging the wall down the straightaway, it's probably because I had to look down at my phone for a notification or something, but hopefully we don't have to. I think most of the big stuff went through just a little bit ago. And I think we're just in some normal rain and maybe some thunder right now. But it's supposed to build back up tonight, I believe. Hopefully we can get this race in. Hopefully we can qualify somewhat decently. Ar Arca here is can be a place that I struggle a little bit. It's going to be tough to make passes again. Uh, as we pretty much see everywhere these days. That top side comes in and it gets very dominant. So we're going to want to try and put ourselves closest to the front if we can. A 697 should be alright. Try and get a little bit better in 1 and 2 if we can. Overdrove it a bit, but maybe still get a decent run. Not terrible. We're falling though in the standings. Three and four is really key. If it starts to break loose in the middle of the corner, you lose a lot of time. We got through there quite a bit better than we did last lap, so that's going to be about a tenth of improvement, 0.5. It jumps us up five spots. I can be happy with that. We're not that far off of the poll time at the moment either, a 5-1-3. Uh, which I think Dylan said hi before. He's on up there up front. Number six car, Joe, just said good luck as well in the number ten. Good luck to him. And hopefully we have a fun race. Uh, coming off of the <laughs> surprise Rockingham win that we just had last week. That was exciting. Always love Rockingham. Love when I can do well there especially. That was a good race as well. Hopefully this one will be a good race. 20 car just out qualifies us there with a 555. We got a 573 right there. Which I think is fairly decent. Track temp is actually quite a bit cooler than it was in practice. Well, it's it's gone up a little bit since I've joined the session. 101 track temp now, 72 ambient air. It was like 107 in practice. The wind, eight miles an hour northwest. I don't. I didn't look at the wind in practice, but that's probably fairly close. Now that the weather can be different every session, which is awesome, and we are ready to go racing. I guess everyone's already done or hit the button. That's cool. So we want to. We ran a 573. We're starting sixth on the outside. Not too upset with that. If we can just keep it out of the wall and keep it clean and keep it from getting loose in three and four, then we should be in good shape. All right, man, we're going green next time. Bye. All right, man, line up on the outside. Hopefully, we'll out. have a good we're run. Plenty of fuel to finish the race. Pit road is closed. Still got the brake bias and stuff that we want. I'm fairly sure. We expect to be fighting for the podium. Yeah, I thought Dylan. I thought I recognized Dylan. I'm bad at remembering names. But I, I, I thought I remembered his name. And he's up on poles, so really good run to him. Joe qualifies third. 
So hopefully, as he was saying in chat, hopefully we can stay up here and avoid the mess that could potentially happen behind us. I'm really happy with a sixth place qualifying there. That should put us in a nice spot. And hopefully we won't fall off too bad at the end. Only 35 laps though, so tires aren't going to be so critical compared to a 40 lap race, but they still will come into play. In this place, you can fall off pretty hard and lose spots pretty fast. Got to get through the opening laps, though. We got to make sure we're not spinning out across in that seam on the exit of four. I did that a couple times in practice, or got really loose anyway. And, like I said, hopefully we'll have a fun, good race. I think everyone up here should be fairly clean. The three car either misses the start or intentionally starts on pit road. He was going to start up in eighth. Now he's going to be in the back. Interesting. I looked at the radar before. Qualifying started and it still looked decent, so I think we should be all right for the race. Got my phone here just in case I need to look at it and pull over or something, but I don't expect we'll need to, and hopefully we won't need to. I think the main threat for today has already gone through here, and it won't start up again until like 11 maybe. But here we go, coming to the green, 35 laps here at Charlotte. Let's hope we can keep these tires on them and be there at the end. Get ready. And hopefully have a clean race with everybody around us. Let's see when the six car, or Dylan, decides to go. He's going now. We get a good jump. That's all right. Had to wait a little bit on the guy in front of me, but not too bad. We can slot into the bottom lane here now if we want. Sorry. Why did you feel the need to just spin me out for no reason? 24 or 14? Or well, they already had some contact back there. You be real careful through three and four here. It's going to be loose. No, whoever started dead last yeah, just outside. ran into the back of me before we even got, got the 11 on our outside here. Turn me. There. There's the 24. No turn yeah. down there. I was entering at a bad angle. I wasn't sure if the 20 was going to give us room there. We are three wide, apparently. And the 20's in the wall. Might have just got ran into, is what it looked like. And this corner's going to be bad for the right front. It's going to get the 11 bias, probably. Wow, just made it through that one. Nope. Alright, that was a bad corner for the right front. We really drove it in deep because they were wrecking on our outside three wide. But now we are in fifth. Yeah, that was unlucky for the 20. back out. Got a guy that race. just came out of the pits. That is the three. We really need to be careful not to overdrive. This past turn three. week, I haven't been able to do one official race without getting wrecked. That car is the lap now. Hopefully, the three the lets us go. Hey, Ben, I'm just kind of right in here. I don't have to go for a hour. I'm just trying to figure things out. Bunch of people already disconnecting from that first wreck. Okay, three should pull away from us, looks like. Yeah, it looked like on my outside that the 20 just got bumped and just instantly turned into the wall because you cannot bump in these cars. And luckily, we were on the far bottom of the track, so we could avoid that. Outside. Hopefully, we'll get by the three here. He looked like he just backed off for us. He does. Got the 22 car flying up here. Yeah, 
Man, I always overdrive turn three here, and that is why I struggle saving tires. It is very difficult. Twenty-two nearly into the back of me. He is overdriving entry significantly, and that's why he's flying up here. His tires are definitely going to fall off. We may just have to let him go. And hopefully get him back later. So hopefully he doesn't run into us. Looks like he's just going to get to the inside here. That should be all right. Try and get in behind him. Okay. It's some sort of stack up just ahead of us too, with Joe. So we just gained a bunch of time on them after letting that guy go. Back to P6 for the moment. Hopefully we can maintain up here and not fall too far. I feel like we're saving tires a little bit better now than when we initially started. Got the blue car behind us, 17, run the top side. Thank you. Looks like he's getting that to work pretty well. Hopefully that's going to be hurting his tires as well. And we don't just keep dropping. I think we're saving them better though. I would assume. I don't feel like we're too slow right now. Just need to be careful. Drops us to 7th for the moment. Still not even to halfway, so... I think running down here, we're keeping up with the guys ahead of us. I think the people that are passing us now are just pushing a little bit too hard. I hope anyway, so we can maybe get them back later. But like I said, too, it's probably going to be very tough to pass, so giving up track position may not be the smartest thing. But we'll see. We're all right right now. we got a little gap behind us here. Somebody just got the wall up ahead in that battle. Side by side for the lead. They're making a little contact. Apparently there was a wreck behind us. 22 and 17 nearly come together there. To check up a little. Now you're good. Seventeen said he got loose on his outside and twenty two looked like he got checked up before that became a problem and we get around twenty two on the outside. Not too much problem. Man it is tight in three and four. Really does not want to get to the bottom. Gotta be careful running that middle with that seam because it can just snap loose. And they're still side by side for the lead up there. Joe's still doing good. He's in third, or fourth, I guess. In that blue car, just ahead of the lighter blue car. I gotta get it to the bottom in three and four. It is really struggling right now, and that's just going to keep hurting our right front so bad. May have to consider moving the brakes as well. 22's coming back. I thought we'd maybe be able to pull away, but he's got some speed still. He could just be quicker than us. Another missed apex that we slid up through the corner.
We've caught Joe. I don't think we're close enough to make a pass yet, or attempt to. Everything's kind of getting stacked up here, though. We may need to go to that outside with the 17 car. We've still got 20 laps to go, though. Well, I didn't mean to go to the outside, but we slid up and that got the 22 there, so now we're committed. Let's see if we can get this to work for a second. We get a good run. I don't think I want to go up there yet, though. I think we'll fall off too much later if we do. But we might just need to try it now. I don't know. Just try and not turn the wheel too much. 17's really pushing out of the corner. We had to check up big time there. We got stuck. I think the 17 has burned off his right front a little. We might just want to fall in line behind the 1 and then see if we can get around the 17. Clear low, clear and maybe the 22. Almost into the wall. <laughs> 17 crossing over. Let's see if he can make the next corner. On the bottom. He makes it, but it gets a little tight. Oh, maybe some contact there with the 22 again. Here comes the 11. And we need three inside. wide. Oh man, 17 was on the wall there. That was a bad situation. We got through it though. Back to seventh. See if we can get back around the 22 car. Might take a lap or two as long as we don't hit him. Maybe we got into the back one there. We might need to go to his outside if we can. But that could give the 11 an opportunity to get here. We get a run. Outside. It's probably going to make it hard to make this pass down Hello. here. Oh, he just backed Hi. off. Going to try and cross us over or he's just trying to give us the spot. Either way. We get it done. Much appreciated there if you backed off. We were going to slide up. He was easily going to be able to cross us over with how much quicker he backed off there and we were sliding bad on exit. Alright, feeling pretty good again. We're back to sixth. I feel like our tires are okay. We're closing in on 10 laps to go. I need the brakes moved back right now. We can do that. Okay. That should help us in three and four just a little bit. All right. Now we might want to run the top. Both ends of the track. Let's see what this feels like. Just no turn whatsoever. <laughs> Okay, maybe just the top in one and two. That felt better. We just need to not overdrive three and we should be okay. But 
I just cannot help but overdrive three. That was a little better that time. Got a gap behind us now. Half a second. Trying to get some good exits. Feeling all right. Just gotta back up real early. Slow down real early for the corner in turn three. 19 maybe got tight there. Joe looking at his inside. Got 10 laps to go. Team may have caught the wall just a little bit. My team may be catching the wall just a second from now. He kept it off there. It looked like he was getting very tight middle of the corner though. Probably need to go low and see if we can get around the 19. Oh, he just ran into the back of Joe, nearly spun him. Come on, man. He just caught it, though. But now I'm way too high. That was close. That was unfortunate for Joe there. He had that pass made on the 19, and then he just got rear-ended. Let's see if we can take advantage. Get a run out of the corner, maybe? Gotta make sure we get into turn one okay without sliding up too much. That's the wall. All clear, all clear. We had that pass made probably, but just barely clipped the wall and got stuck to it. I didn't want to get loose and come down into him. Let's reset. We maybe have time to catch back up. Plus, they're going to be racing hard here, so we should be able to get back there. I don't know if we'll have time to do anything, but... Oh, no turn. Did not want to turn there. We were headed straight for that wall on exit. They are almost three wide. Going well. Big better. The lead is just hit up 32, 5, 6, 7... be ready to dodge anything if somebody gets up under the wall. 19's headed up there. Keeps it off of it though. You can tell he's struggling to get it to turn though. Kind of like what we are doing. One car's going to try for a slider. 19's already run into Joe doing that. 19 well, crosses him over. No turn at all. 19's pushing up. They make contact. Nineteen does not slow down for the corner but somehow gets it to turn, and I get massive loose on the scene there, and all of a sudden we've got the 11 car right behind us. And we 
They're not going to come out on the good end of this, I don't think. Unless we can sneak to his outside. Can we get it to turn? We somehow get it to turn. 19 gets real tight. One car might have caught the wall there. We got the one car, or the one Lego. Back to fifth. All good one, I was too. Let's be ready in case somebody misses a corner here. Looks like they're going to keep it clean. We're going to come away with the top five. Zero incidents. Oh, they're going to have a close finish right there. That was close. That was some intense racing. That was a fun one. There's Good race. Flag, man. It's over. Great race. That was awesome. Man. Good job, driver. I don't know what you said there, Joe. Good race. That was fun. We all survived it. That was, that was a difficult battle. Joe kept his fourth place, so that's awesome. He recovers after nearly getting spun there. Dylan finishes well. He finishes second. And what the heck were our tires? 69, 76. Used them up. A little bit better than Joe's, though. That was an intense race. That was fun. Coming out of that clean. All clean around us. Mostly. And uh, there was a lot of wrecks behind us, so we'll go take a look at what happened. Apparently. But I'm happy there with the top five. That was a, that was a good battle. We fell back a little bit at the start. And then we were able to come back. And uh, we had a good, hard, clean race. And that was a lot of fun. And let's make sure that's good. All right. First up is the 15, as I suspected, just running into the back of the 20. And then that causes a massive pile up there. You cannot bump draft in these cars. No matter how many times you try, this is what happens. Just full throttles through him, never lifts off the throttle even after he's turning him straight into the wall, slides back up the track, and takes out a bunch more people. And then, I don't know, 13 there, I guess, just trying to catch it, 24. They're all just still wrecking from the 15 just driving over the 20. Seven car gets loose there up into the outside wall. 22 car right behind us. Oh, he's going to grab that entry wall just a little bit. 21 just runs over the seven. And then three, nowhere to go. A lot of people just running people over in this one for some reason. Free track, I guess you get a lot of people that haven't raced this car very often. 17 got loose there. He mentioned that over the radio. 22 kept it off of him pretty well. 18 hurting on that right front. 21 and the 14 racing side by side. Nothing going on there. 18 going to grab the wall again. Yep. This is when the one got loose on the outside of Joe and nearly come together. That was coming to the white flag. And they had a really close finish. 24. Nothing. I think that's after the checkered. Let's take a look at Joe getting hit by the 19, which was lap... I don't know, it's towards the end there. 
He get, gets up ahead of the 19. I think, yeah, right here, maybe. Clears him, slides up. He'd been working on trying to pass him. He's clear there. 19, just tiniest little tap, nearly sends him. Joe did a great job of saving it there. Otherwise, he would have been spinning to the inside wall. And then they get to be three wide in front of us for a second. And uh, we do all right. I am happy with the top five there. That was a good hard race. We all survived it around us, thankfully, except for the beginning uh, with the 20. But either way, we come out of it decently, and Dylan and Joe both get a great finish as well, so that's cool. That was a fun race, and uh, always look forward to coming to Charlotte, even if it's not my best, best combo, but still a lot of fun to try and improve upon the last time we race here, since we race here pretty much every season. So I think I did pretty good.